are once again with my favorite chef, and you're the resident chef for the show, Chef Alana Peckin, and she's here to talk about uh, what I think is probably, for me, your, your best dish. What are you cooking today? Thank you. We're making a ginger chili scallion relish, is what I call it. It's a condiment to a dish, really, and you can serve it with anything from uh, chicken to scallops to fish. Thank you. You're using. Today and today we're going to do a local albacore tuna. Today we're Fantastic. So we're going to heat up the... We are. You've got your beautiful pan bowl. of tuna in there, yes. <laughs> Makes it easier for seasoning. There you go. There we or, go. <laughs> using what, just salt? So you kosher salt and just season all sides of the fish. Evenly. It always looks like chefs are using a lot of salt, doesn't it? There's a lot of it that flies back into the bowl. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and it's kosher salt, so it actually is hollow in the center. Okay. Yeah. Good. So from there into the hot pan, there's a... People shouldn't be afraid to use spices. So you No, not at all. You know, salt is, a, is definitely an ingredient that when searing a protein especially, you want to cover the surface of it. You don't want to pack on a layer, but a good sprinkling. Uh, and then when making a dish of any other kind, always season a little bit in the beginning, just a little bit in the middle, then taste it. Okay, so you've seared it. Show the audience what the inside of the fish looks like. Once you sear the tuna, you're gonna want to, to make sure that what you have is an even edge on the outside, but a nice rare center on the inside still. That kind of purpley pink that you associate with fresh albacore tuna. So this has been seared. Yes. You cut, and I'll do this side over Perfect. here. Perfect. Why don't you tell me what I have to do over here? Okay, so right there you've got a pot, and it should ha have flax oil in it, a Already good amount. It. Good. Then you're going to want to add half of that, or a portion of the ginger. Okay. We heat that up together until it starts to bubble. Okay, which and, we're doing right now. Yeah, and then from there, what happens is then we're going to add the uh, the Thai chilies. So okay. I don't want to touch the chilies. So, nope. so you can put them in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want. And then you add some of the Thai chilies to that. You let it steep in there. Good. And then after steeping, you pour it over finely sliced scallions. You can add a pinch of salt to that as well. It looks like it's it's so much um, ginger in it. So a lot of ginger, but the flavor of the ginger will soften up and mellow and meld together, if you will, with the nuttiness of the oil as it's heating. And that's part of the reason why you do want it to bubble and cook for the five to eight minutes. So that's a long time, but you're absolutely right. I don't have a bowl for that, so that's fine. So next I'm gonna pour it over top. Right of over top of the scallions. Perfect, let me move that out of the way. So lots of scallions. Perfect. Lots of scallions. Oops. Lo I just pour it right on top? Right on top. Right okay. on top. Okay. Let this sit and you let it uh, steep together for a little bit longer. I generally like to make it over uh, the night before. It can be used immediately, but by letting it sit, you let the flavors uh, meld together even more. And then you and this is a big enough batch that literally it's going to last for a long time. And so yeah, keep it stored covered in the fridge, and it will be good for a couple weeks at least. It will have been overnight. Everything is softened together. Again, why are we using flax oil compared to another oil? Now this flax oil over another oil, it's got tremendous health benefits. It's uh, got a good omega-3 content to it. Sure. Great for our health, great for um, lowering cholesterol levels, healthy skin and hair, right. uh, reduction of inflammation in our body. Just overall a fantastic healthy oil, healthy omega-3s. When you're pregnant as well, oil from the inside out is so good for stretch marks and helping you. I think development for totally. baby and mother as well, memory retention. I've heard of baby brain before, so maybe it'll be good for that. Oh yeah, <laughs> a brain downhill from there. <laughs> More information on this recipe, can, you can go to our website and you can get all of Alana's recipes and tips and tricks. Thanks so much, very much, Alana. Thanks for having me. Oh.